And today we're going to talk about chapter 27 in The Last Quintista by Donna Barba Higuara. And we were left at another cliffhanger. This time we were at the, Petro was at the edge of being reprogrammed, basically being purged, right? I mean, because if you're reprogrammed, you don't know anything about yourself, you have no memories, and you're just like a slave to the collective, then seriously, that's not a life, right? You would rather just die in peace and, you know, not experience anything than rather be pining away for the evil collective. Um, at least I wouldn't. Um, now, I have a question. Do you think that El Conejo should be, should always, I mean, Petra keeps on following El Conejo, right? Do you think that is, like, a good idea? I, I know, I know, I mean, it is, but... My, but well, my question is, do you think that El Conejo will ever lead her to a trap? Or do you think that's like never ever going to happen? I'm, just a quick question. Um, now, do you think that now Petra is going to lose her memories forever or not? And while she's having this dream right now in the real world, what do you think is happening? Do you think that she's going to, um, do you think that her reprogramming is going to perch? Is, I mean, it's not going to work? Do you think that everything will go terribly? Do you think that Javier will do something in the end? And finally, what do you think, do, do, finally, do you think that Petra will ever be able to escape? Or do you think that now that is like a totally, that's a too far away possibility? What do you think? And now she gets to this, um, to this sto cobblestone path. And where did you think that this was going to lead her to? I thought that this was going to lead her to a, um, to a, I don't know, maybe a burrow? Or maybe like, I actually have no idea, but I thought that maybe El Conejo would lead her to his burrow or something, but that wasn't the case. Instead, something even more surprising happened, right? There was a room, and the, the, and it was a library. Could you even believe that of all the places that she could go to, she went to a library? How surprised were you on a scale to one to ten? And yeah, I'm, I'm, it's totally okay if you choose something like 15. Or maybe you weren't surprised at all. What did you think about this? And did you think that it was amazing? Or did you think that it was just too unnatural and unnatural, strange? And did you think that it was uh, just all a trap? At first, I thought it was all a trap. I mean, how could there be something like this place, right? It had to be a trap. Um, besides, all of our stories seem to have been existed, erased from the, from the world, right? And now, do you think that, why do you think that all the books are starting, starting to ruin? Like for example, let me read this paragraph. Um, but something is wrong. The binding of one Librex is, hand, is hanging askew like a bird with a broken wing. Many more lies scattered on the floor. Like performance by apparitions, hollow scripts play out faintly around the room. The voices of the performers Performers barely whisper. In the next row, more Libras lie cracked or shattered into irreplaceable pieces. Okay, unquote. But why do you think that is such is it, this all is in such bad condition? What do you think is going to happen? And I, and um, finally, there's somebody, right? And he calls Petra. Who did? You you think he was, if he was a man. Who did you think that he was? I thought that he was Petra's dad. 
I mean, he has a very close connection to Petra, and he was the only person I could, only good man I could think of. But then, it was Ben. How surprised were you? Did you even expect Ben? Ben, and how how would Ben be able to do this? Um. I have another question. Do you think that Petra, that this is all real, or do you think that this is just some kind of hallucinations, a dream, just a dream, nothing else? Or do you think that this really is real? And then we realized that Ben was dead, but this was just a librarian that looked exactly like Ben, right? And I have a question. All of this, all of Ben's collecting, it was for nothing. Right? Now Petra's gonna be reprogrammed. She's never gonna remember any of this. But do you think that it will be for nothing? Or do you think that Petra will be saved? And finally, do you think that Ben, even though he couldn't control the future, what he did, what would you, how would you describe it as? I would describe it as honorable. I would describe it as, as courageous, as brave friendly, amazing, caring. And I think that it really was an amazing thing. And um, do you think that the stories will ever get to the new world, to Sagan? And then everybody's suddenly telling Petra to wake up. First, Ben says, you need to leave now, Petra. Then, El Conejo um, is the rabbit's foot is say the rabbit says wake up. Why do you think that they're all telling her to wake up, wake up quickly, wake up? Oh, oh no, yeah, wake up. And uh, do you think that Petra will be able to just hide here forever, or do you think that that um, so, that in a few minutes or just even a few seconds um, something bad is going to happen? Why? But what? Why would Petra wake up? And it seems like she's is she, she still isn't programmed. She can still dream, and she can still dream about her abuelo. And I mean, abuela. Oh, why can't I just say Spanish for once? Abuela and about El Conejo and about Ben, which means that she that the that the programming didn't go well. But how? Why? And finally. Lita, Lita stomps the ground and says, wake up now. And that is how we will leave, okay? Um, the last question I will ask is this. How awesome do you think that the librarian is? Basically, just like, a, he's just a program, but still, he, I mean, he's Ben. He's sort of like Ben, right? I mean, how awesome was that piece of technology? Just wanted to ask because, who knows, maybe Ben, maybe things like that will happen someday. Would you like to have sort of like a program of yourself? No, totally understand. Well, we have just talked about chapter 27, another short chapter. Next, we're going to talk about top, we're gonna talk about chapter 28, 29, and we're soon going to finish the book, especially because there is only, let's see, only, uh, did I miss the page? Uh, yes, I did. Um, wow, the last page, the last chapter is very long. There are 30 chapters. Now we finished 27. That means that there's 28, 29, 30. Three more chapters to go. We will cover the next one, next class. And just yeah, three more lessons to go. We are completely finished. Hope that you had a great time with me. Have a have an amazing rest of your day, and I'm gonna ask you a few questions before you go. What was your favorite part in this chapter? We had a lot of things going on here, so I think that this is a really important part. I My favorite part was probably when she discovered the library. It was just so cool. Um, my favorite part in the whole book so far, what, what was yours? Um, what about your favorite character? Your least favorite character? Yeah, Javier totally turned on Petra. He's not my favorite character anymore. He's not even close. He's close to the bottom ranking right now. So that's one problem for Javier. So 
I'm gonna, we, so we're gonna have to think about that pretty closely. Um, and we do meet Ben again, and we do meet Lita again, we meet El Canel, so, so it's pretty relevant to talk about least favorite character and favorite character. And finally, how does it like the book so far? I hope that you enjoyed The Last Quintista. We are almost done with it, so stick with me with the last chapters and um, next book assignment is going to be just a book recommendation. Um, this is also going to be about, uh, this is also going to be written by Donna Barba Higuara. And that book is, oh, I need to dust jacket. That's where all the books that she wrote this. Um, it's called Lupe Wong Won't Dance, which won the Pura Bell Prey Honor and the PNBA Book Award. Award. And that's her first novel. Novel. That is cool. I mean, first time and she got that award. That's awesome, right? Her first time and she's already won the PNBA Book Award and the Loop and the Poor Bell Bell Prey Award. And the last Batista is her second. Like she, her books are amazing. I mean, she's getting hit after hit. The last Batista won the Newbery Medal. Um. So Lupe Wong won't dance. Try that one out. That might be fun, right? Um, and uh, my last question for the day, one of my last questions is, do you think that that fate, fate, it, it can't be controlled. It can't be controlled. But how do you think that we can, how, but how do you think that we can stop it from becoming too ugly? Okay, main, well, that's the main question. We can't control fate, but how can we prune its edges, in your opinion? Yeah, making good choices, saying good things, eating good things, um, just trying to live the best possible life, be kind. But what if you're in Petra's situation? Is it even possible to prune those, to prune those man, branches? Or is it not? Predictions, I mean, I already asked you a lot of questions that were sort of like predictions like, do you think that Petra is going to live? Do you think that Petra is going to be able to resist this? So, I mean, that's basically predictions. So, I guess that we don't need to ask predictions. So, I'm gonna talk about something that Petra does not have access to. Good food, she only eats by a loaf, which is, right? So, my question for the day is, what's one of your favorite foods? I know, sometimes you can't choose your favorite food, right? Exactly, so just one of your favorite foods. I'm gonna choose pizza.